What is up guys, we are back once again, and you know, this is something I haven't been, well, first off, I didn't know they were going to do this, but let's talk about this for a second. Um, Raising Canaan Power, or Power Book 3, Raising Canaan, the prequel to, <laughs> to Power, um, we have where we are finally knowing the story of the young version of Kanan, fifth sense character now again i i wasn't sure if i was gonna watch this or not i was a little like well, what's going on what this is about and i wasn't entirely sure and again i don't recognize anyone in the show uh so far i am enjoying it so far i am enjoying it i will say that uh i think for casting wise, I think they did a good job getting uh, uh, McKay Curtis to play 50 Cent's character. Um, I think he fits. Now again, this is going on in the 70s in uh, Southern Jamaica of, of uh, New York, Queens. Now, the whole entire premise is Kanan knowing that his mother and his uncles are running a illegal empire and her... And then his mother has a counter gang that is trying to not only compete, but also possibly take over. Now, the entirety of the story so far is Kanan literally knowing that he's that, that he knows about it, but then he wants to learn about it because he's afraid of something happening to his mom or wanting to protect his mom and always wanting to be there for his mom. So that's the reason why Kanan thus far has been... A part of this world and he gets into this world and you know his friends you know because he's got all this stuff we even get to meet jukebox when she was younger and how they are actually cousins you know we, we didn't know about this and, and the uh in power when he kills her later on it's kind of interesting that all of a sudden oh wow it kills her and it's like oh damn we didn't know this we we had no idea that that happened and come to find out that I'm, I'm looking at, while I'm talking this video, guys, there are certain movies and and everything else that there, there are just certain ones that I've seen in videos that I'm like, okay, well, let, let's check it out for Raising Canaan. And, and I did. And what's actually really cool is I had no idea this show was going to be as good as it is. I had no idea. I was a little shocked because... When I first watch it, and some of the characters just, I, I don't know. Like, the way it rolls is, again, Kanan is coming up in this story. This is Kanan's coming up story of what happens to him as a person, as a character, way before he meets Tommy and Ghost. Way before they, he meets them. Don't know exactly when. They may show us. I don't know. But this is about how he is learning from his mom, his uncles, about the drug trade, how to kill, if you're killing someone, shooting, jail, the whole nine, the whole nine works with living in this type of a world. And one of my favorite scenes in, in literally the first episode is when Kanan's young and his mom is asking why he's, why he's crying and, she, and he tells her and then she brings him back to the plate, well, the, uh, the courtyard and he beats the living mess out of this kid with Legos in a sock, in a long tube sock and beats the living tar out of this kid because he stole his money. And that, I'm like, damn, this, this woman's hardcore and I'm, I'm just sitting here, I'm going, but then you look at her brothers, his uncles, his uncle Lou is not much of a gangster. This this dude, like in the latest episode, he couldn't even shoot somebody correctly to take out a hit. So it makes me wonder, what exactly are you doing? You're not doing nothing. You you are a lackey. You're a lackey just like any of the others. And the other one, Marvin, he's just as bad. He's just as bad. He can't handle anything on his own. Neither one of them can. The His mom, yeah, is the leader of this group. And she is leading this brigade because she knows what she's doing. Yeah, she takes... You know, criticism or advice from her brothers, but she's telling them what to do. Because, let's be honest, they don't know what they're doing. They don't. And find out that his Uncle Marvin, again, is the father to Jukebox. So, don't know exactly what's going to happen to his mom or his uncles at this moment in time. 
but overall, like I said, I am enjoying it. There are certain characters I just can't get behind. Like, I can't get behind his uncles. Uh, I don't think that they're really doing any, I mean, they are doing something for the story, but it's more of those lines of, okay, I can see the reason why his mom is leading this group because her brothers are wanting to do their own thing. And yeah, they're trying to expand. They're trying to organize and she doesn't really want to listen. But at the same time, there are screw ups and they need to be put in their place time and time again by her. And at the same time, they're still trying to, uh, cause the uncle blue, he doesn't really care about anything only thing i'm gonna be blunt guys the only thing he cares about is getting between the legs of you know of a, of a girl that he's basically hooking up with the older sister to one of his one of Kane's friends i mean that that's pretty much it that's all he cares about and then uh his uncle marvin he all he cares about is making that paper and trying to run and gun and do this but at the same time he may get killed very quickly because of the way he acts so again we don't know and then the other character that's supposed to be you know the rival gang leader you know uh neek he just he's one of those where you want to take seriously but at the same time it's one of those he acts like a big dog but he doesn't come across like a big dog like he don't like and what i'm saying by that is he doesn't come across like the one that you really want to screw with like when you thought of someone you don't want to screw with you think of like tommy you think of ghosts you think of kanan you, older kanan you think of them right you know so it's kind of hard to really take someone like this serious when it's like oh it's an og you know you don't want to mess with an og dude og is freaking ghost kanan tommy you know ones like that later on but again i'm willing to go okay what can the, you know you got to build up obviously but at the same time it's making me wonder where exactly they are going with this because i want to be able to go okay what exactly is the prognosis of the story how does canaan become from where he is now to where he gets to be later on and finding out later on that his mom is responsible for the death of of one of his best friends after him and his friend getting involved into a gang war that started a gang war and now his mom's trying to protect him but at the same time she lies to him and still trying to protect him so again this is where he's gonna learn it all from is from his family and that's where he learns it from now again I'm not saying that every character is perfect no but at the same time you still have to be you, you still have to see the faults and the good parts of all these characters. And at the same time, I'm invested in the show. I am. I have not watched uh, the second uh, book two with uh, Ghost's Kid. I have not watched that yet. I've been going back and forth if I should because of the way uh, Power ended. So I'm kind of going back and forth if I should or I should not watch it. I don't know yet. Uh, I'm wanting to see exactly how the show is going to progress and if how much history it's going to show obviously um it, it, it possibly even shows why the reason why jukebox and canon kind of have this love hate relationship later on and the reason why that he wouldn't admit that that was his cousin because now unfortunately knowing that his cousin uh is gay and also that which, which you possibly could have guessed it, but at the same time, you didn't want to assume. And with her being in a relationship with someone that is of the so-called high class, and then also going of how it went, again, I don't know how much anyone has watched of this, but then with what happened in a recent episode could be the reason why Kanan and her go on odds and outs. And then one of the other characters that Kanan either has a crush on makes you wonder if that's going to be the mother to his child that he kills in power. And also, of course, it makes you wonder where exactly will he meet Tommy and Kanan at one point in the story? Uh, will his mom know them or his mom will be dead by this time? At what point will his uncle be dead at this time? There's so much that you can theorize as well as also wonder about the story. And I got to give, you know, a clap i gotta give my hat off to 50 cent he's doing an amazing storytelling uh within the world of power not only from past but to the present but to uh any point you know i i am very impressed and i am very satisfied with his storytelling and i 
I just can't wait to see more. I just can't wait to see more of what they have in the world of power. So I'm probably going to give book two a shot, even though I do have issues with that as a fan. But at the same time, I'm willing to try to give it a shot one more time. But either way, what do you guys think about Raising Canaan thus far? Again, I am going to be doing a full review of the uh, season when it does end. But either way, what are your thoughts on this? Um, what are your thoughts about the characters? Are there characters you don't like? Are there characters you do like? Either way, we're all fans at the end of the day. So let me know what you think down in the comments down below. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, subscribing. Leave a big fat like on the video. Also, click notifications so you guys are notified every time I upload. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys on the next one.